was an adventure. Today on Gun Venture, we catch up with Ian Harrison, editor of Recoil. It's a hot day at the office, shooting machine guns, suppressors, and more. I think I need a macro lens for this. All right, we're coming into the very busy airspace of Phoenix. It is flat out here, but you do have mountains all over the place. Looks hot. I know it's going to be hot, but we're going to have some fun with Ian. Can't wait to get on the ground and do some shooting. Hey, Tom. Welcome to Arizona. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. You know, I love magazines. You know, I kind of grew up in magazines. So I want to come out and see what you know, a modern gun magazine does when you guys are doing a photo shoot like this. Welcome to my office. <laughs> we have coffee and donuts and everything, as you see. <laughs> and guns going and on. And guns. As it should be, right? <laughs> exactly right. Heck of a backstop you got there. Yeah, this is Cowtown Range. This is where we do a lot of our work for Recall Magazine. So I'm going to kind of be in the background. You got some people coming out. You're going to yep. be shooting cool stuff. And who knows, you may even set something on fire. Well, that's on the cards. <laughs> All right, good deal. I'm going to get back behind the camera and turn it over to you. All, All right. right, Tom. Cheers. Good deal. All right. Thanks. Hey, Michael, you made it. Ian, how are you? Good, mate. Good. Yeah. So I see you're all set up over there. I am. A bunch of good stuff to show you today. Awesome. So we're going to take a look at some suppressors brought by Rugged Suppressor Company. We're going to try and heat them up, burn them out, and then uh, put them in the magazine. Let's go take a look at them. OK, Michael, what do you brought for me? Well, what I've got is a Surge 762. Uh -huh. It's a completely modular can. Starts out in a 9-inch configuration and breaks down into a 7 and a half. So you can shorten it up? Absolutely. All you do is simply remove the adapt module and place it back on the seven and a half inch configuration. Huh. So it's shorter, lighter, more compact. So shorter, right lighter, more yep. compact. SBR, perfect uh, configuration for it. Cool. So this is a 30 caliber can. We've got a couple of guns over there, one in uh, 300 blackout, one in 556. Let's heat this thing up because uh, they do get pretty damn hot. Let's shoot it. Excellent. All right, Michael, let's shoot this 300 blackout. Now, I like loading 300 Blackout in metal magazines because of two reasons. One, plastic magazines on some 220 grain subsonic rounds actually suck. And the other thing is that it keeps my, my 300 Blackout separate from my 5.56. Now, you can actually shove a 300 Blackout in a 5.56 if you really try hard. And I've seen guys blow up guns with it. So I always keep this stuff separate in magazines. They're very, very dis distinct from each other. So we're going to load up some 300 Blackout. We're going to hammer some targets down there. And we're going to try and break your suppressor. Let's do it. Shh. The loudest sound of the, is the rounds hitting the berm. That's cool, cat. And we can play some tunes. <laughs> Oh, out of bullets. <laughs> so what are these rated for in terms of caliber? We're rated for all the way up to 300 rum and below. OK. Barrel restrictions, 18 inches on 300 rum, 16 inches on 300 wind mag, 12 inches on 308. When you're looking at 5.56, five, all the way down to 7.5 inch. Full auto rated. It's got a full Stellite core in it. Yeah, those Stellite cores, they could take a hell of a lot of punishment. It's what I believe to be the strongest can on the market right now. So at Recall, we don't just cover hardcore guns like this. We also cover more esoteric and fun stuff like this belt-fed 9mm. It's weird, I know, but hey, the editor's a weirdo. Want to try this? Absolutely. Jump on, mate.
You killed my target. <laughs> Coming up, Ian pulls a surprise from the back of his wagon and gives us a new appreciation of the word firepower. Hold on to your eyebrows, because it's going to get hot. <laughs> 